Falsetto or head voice, what's the difference? This is a really great question and one that I get asked a lot too, but it's really hard to answer because at the end of the day, they're just words. Hi, my name is Maddie Tarbox. I'm an evidence-based voice specialist and I'm here to help demystify how the voice actually works so that you can create a more reliable, sustainable relationship with your instrument. First, the term falsetto seems to be used more consistently with testosterone-influenced vocalists. While estrogen-influenced vocalists, we throw the term head voice around more often. But those two sounds have a really similar vocal fold setup to achieve the tonal goal at hand. Vocal folds that are stretched long and thin with minimal engagement from the thyroretinoid muscle. So in that instance, I would say there really isn't a difference. However, my understanding is that in classical music, if a testosterone influenced vocalist is using the term head voice, there is a little bit of thyroretinoid engagement to it or chest dominance in the sound, which is different than falsetto, which is also different from the way contemporary vocalists describe that coordination. We might say something more like a light chest mix. So yeah, it's really confusing. <laughs> this is why I like to introduce my students to the concept of the mix graph. This graph is really similar to the work of Hebston Speck in their 2014 article in Journal of Singing called Adjustments of Glottal Configuration. When we visualize registration at the vocal fold level like an XY graph, you can see all the different coordinations that can come together at the vocal fold level. You can call each of these quadrants whatever you want, but at the end of the day, they're just variations in glottal configuration. I hope this helps. Happy singing!